According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you haven't, and at the end of the video you enjoy what you see, do consider subscribing. It would help a lot with YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content. Thanks for being here. Hello, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Do you have trouble in the dating world? Do you just wish you could find your perfect someone without all the complications of dating? <laughs> well, good luck with that. Just kidding. <laughs> the dating scene can become frustrating for all of us who have ever had our fair share of bad dates. So maybe you just need a bit of advice to help get the ball rolling again. To help you out, here is a list of the only dating advice you'll ever need. Number one, the most important thing, respect. You need to trust each other's intentions. How can you do so without a little respect? Healthy couples whose relationships last, their secret is communication and respect for each other. So if you notice your date is a bit disrespectful to you, express that this is a problem or recognize that it might not work and remember to respect your date as well. Number two, allow intimacy to progress naturally. So you like someone a lot. It's only the first date, but you can't wait to tell them. Hold it right there. While honesty is the best policy, revealing how often you think about them may add too much unnecessary pressure on your first date. You need to allow some room for the natural progression of intimacy. Take it slow, take it easy, and reveal how you feel, but make sure not to reveal too much all at once. It is just the first date after all. Number three, don't limit yourself to one type. While some of us may think our perfect partner will meet all of our criteria, we may be wrong. And that idea is very possible. So what could you be missing out on? Just because your date doesn't like Star Wars as much as you doesn't mean they can't be the perfect match. Just because you share different interests doesn't mean you won't connect on a deeper level. And just because they're not tall and handsome doesn't mean you couldn't be attracted to them in the future. If our type is always changing, I guess we don't really have one type, do we? Number four, communication is key. Most people say communication is one of the most important keys to a successful relationship. That and respect are a great combo pack. It's important to be honest with who you're dating. If you're a bit uneasy about something, express it. If you enjoyed your afternoon, don't try to play it cool or play hard to get. Instead, tell them you enjoyed getting to know them. Be honest about who you are and how you feel as long as it's not a bombardment of love confessions on your first date. Number five, focus on who you are now. Early on in dating, it's a good idea to focus on the person you are now rather than discuss your past self. It's important for couples to know a bit about each other's past, but the time will come for that later. Those first couple of dates, show them who you've become. Try not to talk too much about your mistakes or exes. Early on, they're here to get to know who you are now. Which brings us to number six, don't alter who you are. Important tip, don't try to pretend you're someone who you're obviously not. If you think your date would love a handsome bad boy or a cool girl, don't show up wearing a leather jacket when your go-to is knitted sweaters. If we alter our personality or style to fit our date's expectations, they'll be attracted to someone who doesn't really exist. We'll only attract people who are compatible with someone else. So those aviator glasses you picked out for this date Stick to your prescriptions. Number seven, don't control the conversation. It's important for both dates to show interest in each other. This means you shouldn't spend the whole two hours just talking about your dreams and goals. Ask your date how they feel and give them time to ask you some questions too. Remember, it's about how both of you feel and if you're compatible. You'll never get to know if they're too compatible with you if all you do is talk about yourself. And number eight, be with someone for the right reasons. This should seem like easy advice to take, but many individuals get lost in other reasons for being in a relationship. Maybe your friends and colleagues pressured you into a certain kind of relationship. Maybe your family expected you to be with this kind of partner. Whatever the reason, it's important to evaluate why you're with your partner. Is it because you're truly happy around them? That already sounds like a great start. Which advice will you take? Are you lost in the dating world or have you already found your special someone? What was it about them that made you fall head over heels? Share with us in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with someone who may need some dating tips. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.